Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Lately, I saw a lot of comments who suggested I should update my star cards and settings videos. So I'm sitting here doing just that. But I did not include most of the blasters since I'm hardly ever playing them and I really can't give you a quality opinion on them to be honest. Another important thing is that these are the star cards you should use for heroes vs villains but I also use them in Hero Showdown, mostly because I'm too lazy to change them all the time. Also, there are a lot of great cards, and one can argue about my choices, but I think everybody has to make up his own mind about this. Anyway, let's get started. Before we talk about the star cards, let's have a quick look at the settings. So yeah, these are my settings. As you can see, I have a zoomed sensitivity of 60% and a soldier sensitivity of 85%. That's pretty high and I can work with that really well, but you have to choose what fits best for you. Then yeah, I have a stick dead zone of 15%, but that's not so important and yeah. The rest also isn't that important. I also see a lot of people wondering how my menu is blue instead of yellow. You have to go to video and then go to one of these colorblind profiles and choose Tritanopia or however you pronounce it, the, this one right here, and then it's blue. So yeah, that was already everything about the settings, so let's start with the star cards right away. We will start with Vader. For him I use Furious Resilience, Bonus Health and Intensified Lightsaber Throw. I think these are really powerful cards which give him the advantage in most situations. So yeah, these are the cards I recommend for Darth Vader. Let's go to Darth Sidious. For him I use Lightning Reach in full control and Show No Mercy. To be honest, I don't play him that often, but when I do, I play these cards. So, the next one is Han Solo. For him, I play Air Burst. Yeah, the extra damage for the grenade is really important. Then Smuggler's Wits. The extra dodge always comes in handy when you play against Saber Heroes. And Heavily Modified Blaster, which is always useful. So, let's go on with Ray. For her, I use Balance, also an extra dodge, really important. Focused Sight, this is a really good card because when Rey is in her inside ability, she loses only half of her stamina and this card makes that ability last longer, so yeah, that's always really useful. And the last one is Damaging Strike, which is also really important to make more damage to your enemy. So let's go on with Darth Maul, for him I use Flow Motion, Accelerated Throw and Fool Me Once, but when I play against Blasters I actually change Fool Me Once to Lightsaber Defense, that's one of the few times I actually uh, change cards, but most of the time I don't, but uh, mainly I use this card. So let's go on with Luke Skywalker. I use Intensify, that's uh, really nice to increase his damage. Then Jedi Fighter gives him more stamina, very important. And Luke Skywalker can do an extra rush, yeah, that is also important, Jedi Reflexes. You can move uh, faster to confuse your enemy, that's always important when you play Luke. Okay, next one is Kylo Ren, for him I play Closing In to yeah attack enemies with the frenzy ability even if they are um, well a bit far away so no one can escape that's important and bloodlust yeah more damage with the frenzy that's always useful and more stamina card that's pretty standard so yeah these are the cards i recommend for heroes versus villains and showdown as well and let's go on with General Grievous, for him I use Beating Heart to give him more health, that's also pretty standard and useful. Flasher's Weak, yeah some people might say this card is not so good because of the low health regeneration that comes with this card, 
But um, yeah, I like to play this card against yeah good enemies because so when they get a combo on you, then it doesn't make so much damage. And if you know what you're doing, you can well retreat for a moment and recover your health. So I think this card is really good when you play against skilled enemies. And as a last card, line up weaklings. Yeah, this uh, increases the damage of the Claw Rush. This is more useful in heroes versus villains, not so much in showdown, especially not in a one versus one. But yeah, I rarely change it because, well, as I said, I'm pretty lazy. But yeah, you can uh, change it to another card in hero showdown. So then we have Kenobi. I play Jedi Resilience to give him more health again and perfect defense to give him even more stamina and forward which gives his defensive rush more damage which is always pretty useful in like every mode and then we have count dooku for him i play sith control to give him more health regeneration finesse to give him more stamina and initiative which is also really important because when you can land a surprise attack on your enemy, then the extra damage of 50 can be pretty useful to kill your enemies. Especially when you have Duelist activated as well. And then, as the last one, we have Anakin Skywalker. For my play Tenacious to give him more health, again. Steamroll to give him more stamina, even though it depends on the damage he makes to enemies. But I think since Anakin has such a low stamina, Anyway, this card is really important, even though he doesn't get a lot of stamina added, if he doesn't make a lot of damage, but I think it's really important. And as a last card, I use Attraction to give his pull dominance a greater range. So a lot of people could argue about this, but I think hardly no one ever thinks that someone uses this card and they think they are safe and lower their guard to well, recover their stamina and then you can just pull them and give them a really powerful combo. So yeah, this is a really nice trick to use on enemies and yeah, it works for me all the time. Oh, I just saw I forgot Yoda. Let's have a look at him as well. For him I play Feel the Force to give him more extra health when he uses that ability. That's always nice when you are in a, well, bad situation. Then agility, also uh, one more extra dash attack. That's also important when you play really fast and aggressive, um, especially since that ability can go through the block and make damage. So this is a really important card. And then as a last one, I have opposing the dark side, which just deals more damage to enemies. And yeah, that's always really good <laughs> so yeah that was everything about my star cards we talked about the settings in the beginning of the video anyway so i hope i could help some of you and if you liked the video make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and i will see you in the next one